IBM Backend JavaScript Developer Professional Certificate. If you are looking to be a JavaScript developer, it's one of the top learning programs in the category on Coursera. And it has a pretty high average rating too, 4.7 out of 5 stars. But is it really so good? My name is Daniel and today I have an IBM Backend JavaScript Developer Professional Certificate review for you. So things I am going to cover in this review are Course overview, structure and content, pricing and certification, career opportunities. Traditionally, we will look at some student reviews and I will let you know what I personally think about this course series. Also guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts. Let's dive in. Overview Alright, so this professional certificate is designed to help you start a career in the booming field of backend development. In this program you will learn all the skills needed to become an entry-level backend JavaScript developer. By the end of this program you are expected to gain expertise in the variety of backend developer tools that are in the high demand today. You will get hands-on experience with server-side systems that power modern web and mobile applications, giving you real-world skills. And to give you a better idea, here is what you will learn. Obviously, HTML, CSS and JavaScript, Node.js and Express, Git and GitHub, SQL and NoSQL databases, Docker and Kubernetes, and finally, microservices and serverless technologies. And guys, when I say it gets heads-on, I really mean it. As you progress through the program, you will build a portfolio of projects that will boost your confidence and impress potential employers. Plus, you will get a professional certificate and badge from IBM to showcase your skills. How long does it take? Now guys, if you are planning to invest around 10 hours a week into your learning journey, you can expect to wrap it up in about 4 to 6 months. Now, keep in mind that everyone learns at their own pace. So, it might take some of you a bit less or more time. And that's totally fine. The great news is that this core series is self-paced, so you don't have to worry about any deadlines and learn when you can. Who is it for? If you are eager to dive into JavaScript and backend development, this certificate might be just right for you. The best part is that it's completely beginner-friendly. And that means that you don't need any coding background. That's right, even if you are a total newbie, you can still jump in and get started. All you need is some basic computer know-how and you will be on your way to mastering JavaScript and backend development. Structure and content Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the content I make. That's all. Now, this professional certificate is made up of 11 courses. Introduction to Software Engineering, Introduction to HTML, CSS and JavaScript, Getting started with Git and GitHub, JavaScript Programming Essentials, Developing backend apps with Node.js and Express, Getting started with Cloud Native, DevOps, Agile and NoSQL, Introduction to Containers, Docker, Kubernetes and OpenShift, Application Development using Microservices and Serverless. Node.js with MongoDB, developing backend database applications, and finally, JavaScript backend capstone project with software developer career guide and interview preparation. Each of these courses includes from 10 to 19 hours of content, and as you can often see on Coursera, is broken down into smaller modules. And guys, you will be happy to know that this professional certificate isn't just about memorizing theories. Not at all. It's all about getting your hands dirty and putting those newfound skills into action. I mean, just check out these projects you will get to work on. Open source fun on GitHub. You will create and share your own projects with the world. Craft and travel website with JavaScript APIs. You will make a site that gives personalized travel recommendations. Store book reviews with Node.js and Express. You will get to build a server-side app to manage book ratings and reviews. Build a multi-tier guestbook with OpenShift. You will create a guestbook with continuous updates using OpenShift image streams. Write a MongoDB backend app and deploy it with Kubernetes. You will develop a backend app that uses MongoDB and has API endpoints for easy client-side integration. Then deploy it using Kubernetes. Prepare your backend developer resume and portfolio. You will get ready to land your first job by polishing your resume and showcasing your skills. 
So, as you can see folks, with these hands-on projects, you will have plenty of chances to apply what you have learned and gain the confidence to tackle real-world challenges. Price and Certification Alright, let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, folks, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. The good news is that it's part of Coursera Plus. So, when you pay for this certification, you also get access to many other courses for free. And guys, I totally understand, months of subscription sounds like a lot. But based on some feedback I have seen, some people finish it much faster. Plus, it's definitely more affordable compared to the cost of a college degree. Now, let's talk about certification. When you successfully complete the entire certification program, you will also get a career certificate. And it can be a nice addition to your LinkedIn profile or your resume. But folks, let me be straight with you. In my opinion, the practical skills and knowledge you gain here are more valuable than the certificate itself. Based on my experience, employers are often more impressed by your professional knowledge and skills than the certificates you hold. Career Opportunities You know, guys, my subscribers often ask me, Daniel, will this course help me land a job? Well, the short answer is yes, it can. Because this learning program is crafted to arm you with all the skills you need for an entry-level job. That's why it's rose in head-on projects with real-world tasks. And it's all about preparing you for a job market. But, my friends, let's be real. Is it a golden ticket to a guaranteed career opportunity? No, I don't think so. Because you may want to keep improving those skills and actively preparing for interviews to get the job. Long story short, your success in job hunting is mostly about your own effort, with skills you have and not just online certification. Student Reviews The majority of students know that this course series is well structured and all the complex concepts are well explained. Here is one of the positive reviews I found, for example. The instructor really knows their stuff, explaining complex ideas in a way that's easy to understand and interesting. It's a well-organized journey for beginners, giving you a solid base if you are getting into container orchestration. I highly recommend it for its clear explanations, in-depth content and hands-on learning style. On the other hand, some students complain that explanations for practical tasks weren't very detailed. I feel that the information provided was too brief and not explained in enough detail to adequately prepare the student to complete the test and assignments required for this course. So keep all that in mind, folks. Is the IBM Backend JavaScript Developer Professional Certificate worth it? Alright, guys, now it's time to tackle the big question. Should you invest your time and money into this course series? And here is the thing, folks. If you are a complete newbie who is serious about starting a career in backend development, this program might be a great investment. You will learn all the essential skills and tools you need to become a backend JavaScript developer, from HTML and CSS to Node.js Express and beyond. Plus, you will get great hands-on experience and work on your first portfolio projects. Alright, my friends, and that's all about my IBM Backend JavaScript Developer Professional Certificate Review. Feel free to check out the course-related links in the description below, you might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.